What is an atom? An atom is the smallest part of an element that still will remain its chemical properties. And an atom, we've kind of got a, a model of an atom here. Uh, we've got electrons and they orbit in shells. Here we've got the, the nucleus and inside the nucleus, well the nucleus contains uh, neutrons and also protons. Now for part of the IGCSE course, you're meant to know the relative charge and mass of the proton, neutron and electron. So the relative charge of the proton uh, is plus one. The neutron is neutral. Uh, and the electron has got a negative charge of minus one and that balances uh, perfectly with a proton. Now the relative mass, the proton and the neutron, well actually a neutron is ever so slightly heavier but you're just expected to know that they're, they're roughly equal uh, with a relative mass of one and an electron is roughly around one two thousandth of a proton. But in fact the number is one over eight three uh, 1836 uh, uh, so it would actually take 100 and, sorry, 1836 electrons to balance with a proton you're also expected to know the proton number and the nucleon number so the proton number is the number of protons in the nucleus And the nucleon number is equal to the number of nucleons. That's protons and neutrons in the nucleus. Now you also are expected to be able to read periodic table notation. So when you look at the, uh, any element on the periodic table, you'll see a symbol. Uh, so it normally corresponds to the beginning letter uh, of, the, uh, of the element. For example, U is uranium, but then there are some uh, abnormalities like sodium is Na, uh, I think tungsten is a W. So there are some uh, unusual symbols out there, but mostly they start with the first letter of uh, the name of that element. Then you'll notice there's a number on the top and a number on the bottom, and the number on the top is always bigger than the number on the bottom. Now the Z or here uh, is the proton number. So this will tell you how many protons you've got in your nucleus, and also in an uncharged atom, uh, the proton number will tell you how many electrons you've got. Now on the top here, uh, we've got the nucleon number, what chemists call the atomic mass. And the nucleon number, it's equal to the number of protons and the number of neutrons. So if, if you needed to know the number of neutrons uh, directly, what you'd do is you'd take uh, Z away from A, uh, just to leave you with the number of neutrons. Now, the electrons, they exist uh, outside of the nucleus. They orbit around in, in shells. And I'm just going to show you how you build the shells up. The electrons, because they're attracted to the nucleus, although they can't actually get close to the nucleus, uh, they, 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 first, um, they orbit in the closest shell first. And the first shell has only got room for two electrons. The second shell, and so the... The third electron would go here, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth, ninth, and the tenth electron. Well, the the, uh, the second shell, that can accommodate eight electrons. Likewise, the, uh, the third shell, that can also accommodate eight electrons, like this. And then, uh, 
For the IGCSE, you're only meant to go up to the 20th atom, so we just need one final little, uh, well, two final little uh, crosses just representing electrons. So you can see uh, the cross uh, is representing an electron. Okay, and then here's our uh, first shell. And we've got here's the second shell. Uh, here's the third shell. And then finally the fourth shell. Now finally you're meant to know about isotopes. Now what is an isotope? Well an isotope, isotopes, they have the same number of protons but a different number of neutrons. And here you can see three isotopes of hydrogen. Now hydrogen has got uh, one proton and in fact there it's there and it's here as well. But in uh, protium, there's only one proton, there's no neutron. In deuterium, uh, there's one proton and a neutron. And in tritium, there's actually uh, one proton and two neutrons. And that actually makes tritium radioactive.